Hey everybody, happy 4th of July! How you doing? So I asked on Twitter what everyone wanted to see, and the top two choices were 10 things I love about the 4th of July, and 4th of July themed crafts. 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 That's kind of a hard word to say. Crafts. So I decided to merge those two ideas and create one grand 4th of July extravaganza! So let's begin! So today we are making candles that are red, white, and blue. So before this video started, I had already separated my crayons and peeled the paper off of them. If you're doing this at home, which I hope you're not following my instructions because I'm awful, you can soak the crayons in water first and you'll be able to get the paper off smoother. I have them all separated and I'm gonna have to melt the crayons, but first I have these little candle holders which I don't think are made for candles, but they're gonna work today. And I'm gonna decorate the outside. So I bought these stickers. I was going to use glitter, but I remembered as a kid I never used glitter for any of my arts and crafts because my mother hated it and I didn't want to make a mess. So I decided on stickers. So I have these star stickers that I am going to use and I'm gonna decorate these. So if you look at this one, there's red and blue stars on top and I put like a white one in the middle. I'm not kind of in the middle. I'm not really good at arts and crafts or like knowing where the middle of things are. Um, like I hated coloring as a child, like absolutely hated it. And then I did red stars, white stars, blue stars and here they all come together in a red, white and blue or I guess that's silver, but anyway, it's just really beautiful. And then at the top, I did red, white, and blue of this one, and then I did a white one on the bottom, and then a blue, red one, another red one, a blue one, and a white one. That's not even, oh well. But anyway, so that's what I did. That's how I decorated them. Now, I tried to get the paper off these crayons the best I could. Um, that was really hard. So, yeah, like, really, really hard. So I have blue crayons, I have red crayons, I have white crayons, and then I decided for the other candle, I was gonna play around a bit and try to mix up all three colors and see what it looked like. And then I have these hemp strings that are like, um, what they use to make wicks, I guess, or like what you can use to make wicks. They didn't have like pre-made wicks, which like I thought every store would have, you know, cause there's so many candle makers in the world. But I'm gonna have to figure this out myself, so this might end horribly. But let's melt our wax next. So I have these Dixie Cups, which by the way, you could not buy just a few Dixie Cups. You had to buy 200 of them. That was the least amount I could buy. So I bought 200 freaking Dixie Cups. So I'm gonna go melt the wax. We're gonna talk about 4th of July a little bit while that happens. So if you hear a noise in the background, it's probably my microwave. I am microwaving it for two minutes and 30 seconds, which is where I read somewhere online that you're supposed to do. And while I do that, I'm gonna cut this. I had scissors, oh my gosh, where are they? Let me go grab scissors real quick. So anyway, I'm gonna cut this stuff. And, like I think, I mean I guess this is like plenty long enough, but I can always trim it, right? I'd rather it be too long and too short, so as you see like. So like it definitely reaches the bottom, but like, as you can see. But I don't know if it has to be straight or not, but I don't really know how candles work. Anyway, so I'm gonna talk about my top five favorite things about 4th of July while I do this and while I'm waiting for the wax to melt. So my number five favorite thing is Old Navy 4th of July shirts. I'm wearing one right now from last year, and I just wanted to say if your mom didn't make you buy these every year for 4th of July, she probably didn't love you very much. I know that's an awful thing to say, but I'm pretty sure it's true. Every year my mom would make me and my sister wear these, and they, I totally understand why, because they were freaking cute, but it was every year and I haven't gotten one this year yet but I'm sure I'll get one on clearance like the day after 4th of July. So I thought the wax would be done. I thought the wax would be done because the microwave beats but it is still in perfect crayon form so I'm gonna put it in like for five minutes instead of that little amount of time. I put three crayons in per color because I wasn't really sure how much wax a crayon yields. That's not like something in my common knowledge so I just so I decided that this would be a better angle for this video. So I got a smaller chair so you can see everything that I'm doing. Once again, I don't really know how a wick works. So I'm just gonna hold it and hope for the best. Also, there's crayon underneath my fingernails. 
because I was peeling those crayons. Like, what the even heck? I also bought scent to put into the, the wax. This one's called Hawaiian Mist, and it smells kind of like Kool-Aid, and I don't really know if I like it or not, but I thought it was summery, so I decided to use it. Let's go check out my wax! Pro tip, if you're doing this at home, I just checked on my wax and it, the Dixie cup started bleeding, so make sure I would triple, double cup your Dixie cups because they're useless paper cups that nobody needs, but you have to buy 200 of them, which is not cool. I would personally double, triple cup them and then put like a paper towel underneath them so it doesn't ruin your microwave. Good thing I caught that very early on. And then um, also with the scent, so I'm only gonna put a little bit in because I don't know how strong it is and it smells pretty strong, but I thought it really needed a scent because what is the point of an unscented candle? No one buys a candle just for looks. So I'm gonna go check on my wax now and see what is happening. So it's very hot, like really very hot, and it's definitely melted. So I'm gonna pour it in and try to keep my wick Centered. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking cool. Oh my gosh, I barely made any wax. What the heck, man? I put three freaking crayons in there. Maybe I could do like red and white and blue and red and white and blue. I only bought a few crayons because I thought it was going to be too much. I'm so sad. It only filled it up barely to the bottom. Now I have to wait forever to for it to harden. What even is the point of this? This is the worst craft ever. This is why I don't do freaking crafts. I'm not even looking at the camera because I'm so upset. I decided for this, I'm gonna use the crayons from the swirly one that I was really excited for, but I wasn't sure if it was gonna work for the layered one. And then I'm gonna, just gonna use whatever color I want for the swirly one. So I'm just gonna... So upset but I'm holding the wick with scissors and I think that's a really good idea. I'm very proud of myself for thinking of it, but I don't think, it's not gonna be like in the center. Like, I don't understand this wick business. I don't understand why Walmart didn't sell freaking wigs. And then I called Joann's and they didn't sell wigs in their freaking craft store. You're freaking kidding me, man. I thought this was a good idea, but it's not. Bottom. So I'm glad I melted more blue because I forgot to put the scent in. But anyway, while that extra blue is melting, I'm gonna move these white crayons. The most pointless, pointless crayon in the box. Anyway, while that is hardening and that is melting, I'm going to tell you guys my number four favorite thing about Fourth of July! And that's food. I really love food. My mom would always make this pasta salad so freaking good every, every single 4th of July. And then like, got like watermelon, it's like a fun 4th of July food. But I feel like food is a very important part of the 4th of July. And if you want to argue with me, go right ahead, but I will tell you that you're wrong. Heads up, Dixie Cups are starting to burn and I don't know what it is about them, but because every tutorial uses Dixie Cups, and that's why I bought 200 of them. But I really... I don't know if I should be using plastic cups instead. I do have plastic cups, or maybe a plastic cup. I don't... I'm just gonna pour what's melted here. In there. Oh, yeah, there's like a chunk of crayon in there. Oh, well. It doesn't have to be perfect, that's why it's a craft. Put some scent in there. Just a few drops though. Maybe the chunk of crayon will give it character. I really don't know what else to do. This is the worst freaking crap in my life. I'm gonna go find, see if I can find some way to melt the light. I'm sitting here with the burnt cups and I scooped out the little like chunk of, I don't know why I'm holding crayon, chunk of blue crayon. And I put it in a medicine thing and I'm gonna try to melt it that way. See if that works better than the Dixie Cups, or I don't know if I like just microwave the Dixie Cups wrong. I don't know how you, like you think you can microwave a paper plate, why can't I microwave Dixie Cups? There's no, literally everyone else in the freaking world does it! Ah! This is what I do for a bear. I'm only making one candle, I've decided. I was gonna make two, but I'm only making one. 
Anyway, my number three favorite thing about the 4th of July is fireworks. Yay! I remember every year my dad would get so many fireworks and he would let me go to the store and help me pick them out and we'd get the most obnoxious, loud, beautiful ones. And they'd be so freaking great and we'd have the loudest house on the street. It'd be so freaking obnoxious and so much fun. I love firework displays. I think they're so pretty. I love them. Sparklers. I love the, the ones that look, are like called snakes or something, but they definitely look like turds, and that's why kids like to buy them. And you can like pick them up, but then they like turn into dust in your hands. Those are even fun, even though they're kind of lame. But like, I love the ones that go up in the sky and explode. I love the candles. Fireworks are so much fun. So I don't really think the pill bottle is a good idea either. But I'm gonna try it for this blue, and then I think I'm just gonna try to use the Dixie cup again and hope that it doesn't burn. I just made a mess. At least you can clean up wax, I think. I don't know. At least it looks hot. I like that stripe on the side. You guys see that? Wow, I did that on accident. I'm so artistic. This is also not gonna be a very full candle. I'm not getting much wax from these freaking grams. I have a new idea. I'm gonna keep a paper towel underneath the candle. Also, I'm not gonna stress out about the way that. Oh my gosh, I have the best idea freaking ever! I'm gonna do like, I'm gonna melt the wax this way. Like white wax, and then I will fill up more space. Maybe. I don't know. There's only one way to find out! So I'm gonna do it. And also, I'm gonna try the Dixie Cups again because I think I did it wrong the first time. So let's try. Okay, for anyone doing this at home, I think I might have found a way. I'm putting Tupperware on the, like, the bottom as like the base of what I put in the microwave, and then. Dixie cup filled with crayons like so, triple cut, and then three more cups on top of that. And I think that will help it be okay, but I'm not sure. So the Tupperware idea didn't work, and now I ruined my Tupperware. So mom, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to melt this wax efficiently. I don't. I guess I could try the medicine bottle again, but anyway, I'm gonna put some scent in there. Oh, I think I put too much, I don't know. And then I made like a contraption with Dixie Cups to help it melt the other way. And I have another clump of the crayon, but I couldn't wait for it to melt because it would have started a fire, I think. This is making like no wax. This is the worst candle ever. I'm just gonna swoosh it around. There's light. But I think I kind of know what I'm doing wrong. I reread the instructions, which is a very important thing if you want to do this. I think you're supposed to stir it every once in a while. So I guess there's only one way to find out, and so I'm trying that, like every 30 seconds, I'm just stirring it until it's melted. This is what I stir the wax with. It's a spoon, but I'm using the pokey end. My number two favorite thing about the 4th of July is America. Land of the free and home of the brave. Right now I think the wax is better melted. Let me try to... I'm not gonna melt it. I'm, red is gonna be the color where I get this right. White was the one where I had ideas. Blue was just awful all around. So anyway, I'm gonna pour this in. This project is making me sweat, like really bad. Okay, so I'm gonna try to pour this in and make the wig go in the freaking middle. Oh my god, this is the freaking worst craft ever. And this is not working the way I thought it would at all. It's better, better than blue, it's better than my Dixie Cups lighting on fire. I hate crayons, man. Crayons have ruined my life. Right now, in kindergarten. In kindergarten, I was supposed to work on, uh, like, there's like this butterfly packet my kindergarten teacher gave me. And I didn't like coloring. I liked, like, reading and things that actually matter. So I colored the coloring book all black because I wanted to read a book or something. And my teacher got very mad at me. This candle is gonna be crayon, burnt Dixie cup, and Hawaiian mist scent. Okay, time to melt red, I guess. Okay, so I have red, and I think this 4th of July DIY, hey, that rhymes. I really think that this is a DIY. But also, this looks like blood. Okay, red. It was worth a shot, guys. It was worth a shot. This is why I don't craft. I'm just gonna let the wick go whichever way it wants to. Anyway, as I was saying, those of you at home who are doing this, 
Stir it in 30 second intervals. It makes life a lot easier. And also use more crayons than I did. Well anyway, as I wait for that to harden, then my number one favorite thing about the 4th of July, better than America, I'm sorry. It's my sister and my father who love 4th of July very much. So the fireworks and the food, and I just freaking love being with them on the 4th of July and not with them this year, but I love them so much and they love the 4th of July. And the reason why they put them above America, I know what you're thinking, like how unpatriotic of you, Tony, but the reason I put them above America is that even if we weren't American, we'd still enjoy the holiday together as a family, just not in America. So I don't think we'd be celebrating the 4th of July, but you get the idea, I was being cute. It's kind of a sad excuse for a candle. I think I'm done, I kinda got the wick in the center. It's not very full, but we're gonna try to light it anyway. Oh my gosh. If you want the world's saddest candle, I'm doing a giveaway, so share this with your friends on some sort of social media, like Twitter or Facebook, and then show me that you did that somehow and then I will enter you in a random drawing for this, and there will probably be about three of you that do this, so good luck to each of you. There's only one candle. But this is why I don't craft things. If any of you are an expert on crayon candles and know where I went wrong, please let me know, because I thought I followed the instructions that I didn't read very well. Oh, I can do another giveaway. I can give you this candle holder. I didn't put a candle in it because I got frustrated, but it's really wonderfully decorated. So two of you win prizes. There's a giveaway for two people. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did not at all. But um, if you did, comment, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe, please. Mm, this candle doesn't smell awful. It's kind of like Kool-Aid, which is what I expected. Anyway, have a great day, guys. Bye.